First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 27, verses 1 to 5 and 15 to 29. When Isaac was so old that his eyesight had failed him, he called his older son Esau and said to him, Son, yes, father, he replied. Isaac then said, As you can see, I am so old that I may now die at any time. Take your gear, therefore your quiver and bow, and go out into the country to hunt some game for me. With your catch, prepare an appetizing dish for me, such as I like, and bring it to me to eat, so that I may give you my special blessing before I die. Rebekah had been listening while Isaac was speaking to his son Esau. So when Esau went out into the country to hunt some game for his father, Rebecca then took the best clothes of her oldest son Esau that she had in the house and gave them to her younger son Jacob to wear. And with the skins of the kids, she covered up his hands and the hairless parts of his neck. Then she handed her son Jacob the appetizing dish and the bread she had prepared. Bringing them to his father, Jacob said, Father, yes, replied Isaac, which of my sons are you? Jacob answered his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I did as you told me. Please sit up and eat some of my game, so that you may give me your special blessing. But Isaac asked, How did you succeed so quickly, son? He answered, The Lord your God, let things turn out well with me. Isaac then said to Jacob, Come closer, son, that I may feel you, to learn whether... You really are my son Esau or not? So Jacob moved up closer to his father. When Isaac felt him, he said, Although the voice is Jacob's, the hands are Esau's. He failed to identify him because his hands were hairy, like those of his brother Esau. So in the end, he gave him his blessing. Again, he asked Jacob, Are you really my son Esau? Certainly, Jacob replied. Then Isaac said, Serve me your game, son, that I may eat of it, and then give you my blessing. Jacob served it to him, and Isaac ate. He brought him wine, and he drank. Finally, his father Isaac said to Jacob, Come closer, son, and kiss me. As Jacob went up and kissed him, Isaac smelled the fragrance of his clothes. With that he blessed him, saying, Ah, oh, the fragrance of my son is like the fragrance of a field that the Lord has blessed. May God give to you of the dew of the heavens and of the fertility of the earth abundance of grain and wine. Let people serve you and nations pay you homage. Be master of your brothers and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be those who curse you and blessed be those who bless you. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 14 to 17. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old cloak with a piece of unshrunken cloth, for its fullness pulls away from the cloak, and the tear gets worse. People do not put new wine into old wine skins, otherwise the skins burst, the wine spills out, and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wine skins, and both are preserved. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children and my dear young people, today is Saturday, 8th of July 2023. We are 
in this 13th week of the ordinary time of the liturgy. The Gospel is from Matthew again, chapter 9, verses 14 to 17. It, the Gospel today deals with the question about fasting. Because the Pharisees and the followers of John the Baptist, they are fasting. They are fasting number of times a week, at least two times a week, on Tuesdays and perhaps on Thursdays. Now, there is a question, because they see the Pharisees and the disciples of John the Baptist, they see that the disciples of Jesus do not fast. And Jesus himself does not fast. It is, uh, it is confusion. It is confusing them because they observe the law of Moses, but the disciples of Jesus and neither Jesus himself observe the law of Moses. Now, what is the reason that the disciples of Jesus do not fast? And Jesus himself does not speak about the fast that should be observed by his disciples at this moment for two reasons. The first one, because by fasting, what you expect is to attain that reconciliation with God the Father. The reconciliation and also through reconciliation, peace and serenity, joy. But when Jesus is with you, you have the fullness of revelation. You have the fullness of joy. You have the fullness of reconciliation. Therefore, even if the disciples do not understand, but they are in the presence of the fullness of that reconciliation, that joy, that peace, that salvation that they are expecting to achieve. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children and my dear young people, let us rejoice in the presence of Christ because Christ is our reconciliation. Christ is our joy, our peace.